My name is Dr. Omoni Yadoye. I'm a filmmaker and a medical practitioner. Please, I want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Ogongo TV, and also press the notification bell so that you'll be updated anytime we upload new content. This is a channel where you will get fantastic, inspirational, entertaining, and soul-lifting Christian content. Thanks so much for doing that. I love you. Ogongo TV. The League of Men. Children of God, are you not a child of God? Uh, yes, I am. But they said he may ask if you are born again. Hey, you will tell him you are just to discharge him. Eh, yes, it's like you don't know him. They say my father ask whether uh, you, you read uh, your Bible this morning and uh, whether God spoke to you in his word. Then you will tell him something. Don't you have daily devotionals? On your phone or in your house in this present age. Eh? Ah, it's very simple. But you say, why don't you want to be born again? I beg that one will be my agenda for now. I don't want to deceive myself. No. So wait a second day for your agenda now. Wait till you they use your life to do. If you not give unto Jesus, eh? My man. You don't do yourself well at all. At all. It means you won't go heaven. Mm -hmm. Yes, now. Jesus said, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of heaven. Kai, 
You don't use style preach for me, be that too. I run for one, commit another one. You call, why you not give your life to Jesus? Me? Forget about me. Do you know my status? Status? What status? HIV status or hepatitis B? That is the problem. Do you know my status in Christ? Who is talking about HIV or hepatitis B? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know your status. I know I'm well, well. Now you are talking. So? I know your marital status. That you have not married, but a lady lives with you. Oh, that one. You are mistaken. Oh, she has a accommodation problem. She's living with me. I'm just helping her. There is nothing between us. Trust me. Yes, I believe that you are Mr. Joseph. Who can stay with a woman for more than a year in a self-contained apartment without even touching her? In fact, you impregnated her for more than four times and cajoled her to remove the pregnancy at Labelle Clinic. Uh -uh. Bros, we all know your employment status, that you were laid off from the company just because you stole. We all know. We? How, how many of you? Everybody in the neighborhood. You think it's a secret? I believe it. Because we did greet you to pity you. Bros, we also know your status that you hold almost all, all the food sellers in the community. And you are here condemning me that I'm not born again. We are asked, you are an hypocrite. So, what are you telling me? It's easier said than done. Sir, ma. I observe after a week of my stay in this family. You don't usually gather for family devotion. Why? Why? Because family devotion is expected of every Christian home. Apart from the usual saying, the family that prays together stays together. <laughs> family devotion makes us closer to God and it makes us st stronger in relationship with him. Mm. Is that so? <sighs> yes, sir. Bro, Terry, actually we know. But time factor. <sighs> time? Yes, time. You see, we need to live home quite early in this family. We have to avoid traffic congestion in this city. Exactly. We don't joke with traffic congestion here in the city. But we can still wake up early and prioritize ourselves. We still need to have some time to devote to God. Doing this will do us a great benefit. Bro, tell me, we do that personally. We have our daily devotions that we read on our phones. But that is a personal quiet time. Uh, which is needful for our growth, communication, and a relationship with him. Uh, then, I think that one is okay, please. Ah. Must we have a family devotion after a personal quiet time? Ah, ah, yes, it is needful. Even when it is not convenient? That is called determination and dedication. Okay, okay, okay. Tell me, we'll see what can be done about it. Uh, okay, sir. Uh, let's try and see what we can do, sir. Uh, let's start with our weekdays and dedicate our weekends. It's all right, our brother. Uh, I also heard you started preaching to people in the neighborhood. Is that so? Uh. But you just joined us barely a week, and you started preaching and converting people. Yes, sir. Uh, that is a great commission. We should tell others about Jesus and eternal life. Uh, but don't you know, it's not everyone that likes being confronted with uh, preaching. Eh? People will just start running away from you. <laughs> no. Anyone who runs away from the word of God or any discussion about the word of God cannot have eternal life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm.
What's wrong? Why are you moving your things? Dad, I'm pissed. It's barely two weeks Tenny came into this house and he has been inconveniencing me, preventing me from living a peaceful life. I don't understand. Can you explain yourself? I mean, Tenny has been pestering and disturbing my sleep at night. He's always praying late into the night. Ha! At least we go to church almost every day and we pray there. Don't we? As if that is enough. He also compounds it by disturbing with Bible teachings. Like, I don't get to listen to sermons on Sundays. Dad, uh, this guy is just too spiritual for my liking. I, I need a break, please. Aye. It's okay. It's okay. Um, I'm very sorry if I have inconvenienced you. Now it is an opportunity for two of us to agree and pray together. Share the word of God together as Christian brothers. Because I notice you don't attend Bible study since I came in. And anyone who doesn't attend Bible study cannot grow. Uh, that's all. I don't think there should be a problem with us sharing a room together as Christian brothers. Look, I'm a Christian too, but not a fanatic like you. And I refuse to be one. Neither am I. <laughs> I'm just a practicing Christian fulfilling the scripture. You should sort yourself out. Um, Just come down with him. Look, this ridiculous attitude of yours, I'm very sure you can't even keep friends because people will just take life from you. It's okay, it's okay. Don't be angry. I'm furious! I'm still very angry talking to you. Uh, my brother, you don't need to. You don't need to. It isn't good. The Bible says, anger rests in the bosom of a fool. Are you having what? Now, now leave. Just, just leave her out. I said leave. him from anger. Lord, your word says, if the Son of Man shall set us free, we shall be free indeed. Lord, I pray that you deliver Tayo from anger. Set him free. Lord, release fire upon me. Let the fire of the Lord touch my life. Fire. Descend your fire upon my life. I need fire, Lord Jesus. The Bible says he make his angel a spirit and his minister a flame of fire. I need fire. Touch me with the fire. Set me a place, Lord. The Bible says he make his angel a spirit fire. and his minister fire. a flame of fire. I need fire. Touch me with the fire of God. Touch me, set me up, please. Lord, baptize me, O Lord. Baptize me, O Lord, with the Holy Ghost and fire. In the name of Jesus. Fire, Lord, in this fire. fire, descend fire upon me. Let the fire descend. Let the fire descend in the name of Jesus. Lord, fire of God, touch me with the fire. Touch me with thy fire. Touch me with thy fire. In the name of Jesus, Lord, in this fire. Thank you, Jesus. Sir, won't you give him fire too? Who? He is also asking for fire. In his fire, give him fire. He's asking for fire. What does he need fire for? What does he need fire to achieve for God? Fire as a matter of fact had been released upon him on several occasions in the house of God during corporate prayers. Hmm. 
but all the fire contact and deposit has leaked out. It has leaked away because of its ungodly lifestyle and conduct. Therefore, it does not need fire. Hmm. Heaven cannot waste resources to deposit fire into the life of our serious mind who has never repented. Repentance first, hmm. not fire. Repentance is the foundation on which the journey to salvation is built on. Hmm. Anyone who does this stand for repentance has not started at all. Hmm. Hmm. Fire, 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 fire. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire, fire. Since we have all agreed that we shall assess ourselves after each ministration, we are going to begin today and start with Sister Lara. Yes, yes, you. <laughs> See, your, your lead worship today was very good, but you lost it towards the end. Now, I've told you severally that worship songs are to adore God, exalt Him and His majesty. Now, you don't rush worship song. You have to sing it solemnly. It lifts up the singer and the congregation out of a natural state of being into the spiritual and the supernatural realm. Now, as a worship singer, you must not drift away from the sequential order of worship. Don't mix worship with thanksgiving. Now, don't confuse the audience by singing praises and worship songs together. Worship songs has its own progression, but praises and thanksgiving songs can be sung together. Now, can anyone sing one or two worship songs for me, please? Jesus, I give myself to you. From now and forever you are my God. You was me cause you died for me. Yeah. Thou art worthy. Thou art worthy, O oh Lord. Worthy, O oh Lord, to receive glory, honor, and power. And power for thou art created. as a worship song and it can also be sung as a hymn. Very good. Now can I have another one please? We give you glory Lord as we honor you. We give you glory Lord as we worship you. You are Oh 
Sai, Toba ti soro, Beno Luyo, Alagba lolo mi, Oluwa oluwa wa, Ah, Alaru alaru mi, Lift up all the hands, Oluwa ori ni o ma sheu, Modu pa po ko mi o. Ah, Brother, Brother, come on. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. The music is good, but that is not worship song. These are the errors we make when singing worship songs. I even thought you are going to sing Oluwa, 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 The fact that you are changing to Yoruba worship does not mean you should lose the order and the sequence. Now, you may sing Yoruba worship song, Igbo song, Aousa, and in any other language. You must always sustain momentum and order. Don't lose focus. <laughs> apartments you want that we cannot get for you just name it anywhere in this world distance regardless even in america and, and europe yes sir we have all the connections in the world to get you the apartment of your choice and what are the kind of apartments without money nobody in this world can get that one for you it is your money that can get you the apartment that you want. But I know someone who can get me an apartment without money, even in the best location. Really? I doubt it. And if there is anyone like that, please give me his contact. I would like to get in touch with him. Do you have a house in Ebony City? Ebony City? Where is that? Ah. I thought you said you can get me an apartment anywhere. Yes. That has not changed. It's just that I don't know where this heavenly city is located. Heavenly city. Heavenly city. Now, let's go to praises. As I've told us earlier, praises are totally different from worship. Now, praises are used to adore God exalt him and his majesty not the word alone but it is amazing these days that we sing praises unto men unto people even unto self while singing praises unto god now this is an anomaly and it is always deliberately or unwittingly done now this also must be corrected Praises are powerful. If you know the potency of praise, the power of praise, and you use it, it will be good for you. Now, can we sing one or two praises unto God, please? Awesome God,
not praises to God. Listen to yourself. We sing praises to God and God alone. Not men, not humans. Now, that is a common error among the body of Christ today. Take it or leave it. You can argue it, but that is the truth. You can sing instead. I am, I am every day. I lift up Jesus I am every day. Every day, I lift up Jesus. Every day, only you will I pray. Only you will I pray. I am not a God. Only you will I pray. Only you will I pray. There are praises of petition and there are also praises of thanksgiving. Now be careful how you use your praises in praising God. God bless you and have a wonderful night. Don't crack your brain, okay? You simply don't get a house in Ebony City. But you can get one for free. You don't mean it? How? The owner is confident of himself to give you accommodation for free. Who is this fellow? I would love to know him. Hmm. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Then I will come back and take you to myself. We are talking of business and you are talking of heaven. How will I get the house in heaven when I'm not even ready to die yet? You can prepare one for yourself. That is the only place you can get accommodation without money. But with the best foundation, beats with gold. No night or day. In fact, no power failure as we always experience it here or not. Don't you want to get accommodation there after you have gotten accommodation for people here or not? Where do you want to spend your eternity? Being an agent would guarantee you a house in heaven. <sighs> This is bad luck. I am not prepared for this now. I need to make money now. Agent, you better prepare to get your own house in heaven. Jesus is offering it for free. What is the essence of money if can't get you a house in heaven? Or what shall it profit a man? that gain the old world and loses his life in hellfire. Be wise and give thanks to God. You didn't die during the time of COVID-19. A lot of people die without preparing for a home in heaven. We are not better than them. We all are pilgrims and strangers here in this world. Hmm. I surrender to you. What seems to be your problem? I noticed that the same error you made when you were leading the praises today you repeated itself during the assessment. I mean, you are not composed. I mean, you. Given, you know how to sing, but your songs lack spirituality. 
although you have charisma, I, I, I agree with that. But then those in the spirit will definitely know that your song lacks inspiration and spirituality. Now tell me what the problem is. Nothing, sir. Nothing? Ah. Okay. How did you join the choir? We were given an open invitation to come together to form a choir in the parish. Open invitation? Yes, sir. How? It was announced that anyone that can sing or wishes to sing should come together so as to form a formidable choir in the parish, sir. Where was this? Three years ago, sir. Ah. You mean you have been with the choir for three years? Yes, sir. And you still sing like this, brother? You ought to have grown. You ought to have improved. I mean, you ought to have improved your personal voice training and correlation of praises. It means you are not growing yourself despite the fact of being given an opportunity to join the choir. Don't you know that our praises is the best thing we can give to God, which will qualify us to sing for Him in heaven? Now, you can give the church anyhow praises and worship, but not God. Now, I have a question for you. Or better still, would you like me to scold and mold you? Hmm. I'm too... Sir, I don't really... How do you mean, sir? I mean, to spiritually coach you. Mm. No, no, wait, wait. I don't need your response now. You can go back, think about it, then return back and give me your response. Is that okay with you? Okay? okay. Thank you. Now you can go. Thank God bless you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. All right, bye-bye. Yes. You died for me yeah. on the cross you won it all I have said I have said I have said no one like you no one like you, you I don't find I don't find I don't find no other God no other God oh I surrender to you Oh, huh? 
I told you to let us go out. Probably to witness Christ to others. But you say you are not available that you are busy. Yeah, I was actually busy then. <sighs> busy? Ah, I see. Busy listening to worldly music and polluting your mind. It isn't good enough. Oh. But I, I told you I was busy now. Don't you believe me? Yes, I, I believe. But you said you are born again. Yes, I'm born again. What's your problem with that? It's not written on our heads, but in our hearts. Uh, I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But if you are born again, you won't be listening to worldly music. Since you have claimed that you are born again, you should desist from this worldly music. As well, it will demoralize you and divert your attention from God. The word of God says, If any man is in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are new. Ah, you have been listening to worldly music before you became saved. Yet, you are still listening to it. And you claim to be born again. <laughs> Can't you see that worldly music and worldly beats will confuse your mind and prevent you from hearing God? Hence, <laughs> you will remain carnal. Why are you judging me? No, why do you condemn me? See, I don't like it all. I love listening to worldly beats and songs and that is who I am. Even God knows that I love music and I mean all genres of music. You cannot change me because that is who I am. You just have to let me be. I don't even like you. Please stay away from me. Eh, uh, Tai, I'm not judging you or condemning you. I only want you to know that working with God needs devotion. You cannot be listening to worldly music and still want to be devoted to God. They cannot work. They cannot work. No one can serve two masters. Remember, Christians are pilgrims and strangers in this world. Bele, Satan of pilgrims and strangers. So because I listened to just one song, apart from Christian songs now, I have polluted my mind. Eh? No, tell me now, my mind is not right, Abby. You see, this is why I don't like your company. You always see the other side of things. Eh? You think in a very different manner and in a very negative way. But what do you stand to gain in listening to worldly music that cannot edify your soul? This one is edifying my soul to be candid. It's really, really edifying my soul. I mean, rap song, trap, rock and roll, R&B, blues, these songs are needed at times to soothe and calm my mind. Bro! We need to be coming down because these songs take us to another realm. <laughs> is that so? Yes. Ha, look, the art is so flexible in such that any music you play or feed, it constantly registers in. That is it. Music constantly registers in your heart. Yes, that is music for you. It penetrates your soul. Okay, now let me ask you, what about you? I, don't you listen to other songs aside religious songs? No, no, no. Oh, no. Shit. The word of God says in Colossians 3, 16, mm -hmm. Let the word of the Lord dwell richly in you, in all wisdom, teaching, admonishing one another in psalms, hymns, and spiritual song, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. See, my brother. This world is filled with uh, all sorts of songs and talented musicians. And we just have to appreciate them as well as create time to enjoy ourselves. The world is full of glamour. R remember, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Aye. You are a choosing generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation mm -hmm. called out of darkness into his marvelous light. You always forget that you are a pilgrim and a stranger here in this world. Taye. Tani.
I can see that you have a passion to sing. And God too is interested if you allow him to have his way. To have his way? Yes. How do you mean that? It's not just enough to sing praises and worship. But it's about allowing him to use you. I still don't understand, sir. Lots of people are singing because they have the voices, but they are not allowing God to use them. We have so many of them in the choir and in the praise team everywhere, singing because of their sonorous voices. Now, that is very good. But singing to God and for God is more than that. Now, Brother, can you answer this simple question? Are you born again? Have you repented genuinely? I said you are not born again. I said I'm born again. I said you are not. I am. I said you are not. I said I'm born again. Are you my God? Are you my Savior? I said I'm born again. The way you are living your life does not show that you are born again. Oh. Still moving with unbelieving friends. Blaming all kinds of dirty songs, polluting the minds of the neighborhood, associating yourself with a miscreant who plays sports bets, and being seen with different ladies going in and out of your room. Uh, look at you. No, just listen to yourself. Let me tell you that I follow my friends to the sports bet shop does not mean I play bets. And for your information, those ladies you see with me, they are sisters from the church who belong uh -huh. to the choir. Let me ask you. Is this every girl that enters your room you have an affair with? Your assumption is wrong! Daye, let's be sincere with ourselves. Those sisters you said are from your sword group. <laughs> Dress indecently. Display their ties and cleavages. Remember, evil communication cannot good manners. Do those ladies know that you are born again? Are those ladies even from the choir? You see? Don't let us deceive ourselves, my brother. <laughs> let evil be more important to you than the activities of this world. <laughs> Missing evil is the greatest tragedy that will befall a man after being a pilgrim and a stranger in this world. You see, repentance must come first. Excuse me, sir. What is repentance? Hmm, that is a very good question. Praise the Lord! I really want to thank God for what God did in my life. I am a full stop seller. Everybody in my street knows me as Yoni Gary. But something happens in my life. I always use a false balance to sell to people. What do I mean? All the cups and all the glasses have been used for measurements. I reconstructed all of them so that I can be able to get, gain more. But a day came in my life that I received the gospel during our Bible study time. And I found out that false balance is abomination before the Lord, that God dislikes it. And since that day, I gave my life to Christ. And do you know what, one thing that happened? That as I repented, not using all those things again, God started to bless my business even more than ever before. More than the sign I was trying to gain by myself. I really thank this God. I really thank God for what God did in my life. Thank Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Brother Inamji. I want to share this testimony to the glory of God. I engaged myself in rituals in order to get money and also enter into several covenants in order to secure the money but there was no peace of mind i could not sleep at night until i repent and renounce all the evil covenants and stop renewing the money ritual though i lost all the riches but i have jesus thank the lord for the salvation of my soul to the death of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! My name is Sarah. I was a prostitute. I sell my body for money. 
I also give some of my body for free of charge. Body not be firewood, that was my slogan then. But one day, some people can't spoil my business. They preach for me to give my life to Christ, or else I will spend my eternity in hell. That's why I pondered on it for almost two months. My friend pleaded to me not to repent, but I made up my mind. Who knows whether I will die quickly? I don't want to go to hell. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I used to get angry. When I was angry, I can destroy everything within 10 seconds. I destroyed a brand new phone I bought for my wife. I punched her face with several blows, times without number. I had once cut my son's finger with razor just because he broke the screen of my tablet. What an expensive tablet like that. Even I furiously slapped an army officer's wife before. And he sent his battalion to me and they beat hell out of me. Ah. I beat it myself that day. Those are the things that anger has led me to. But when I met Jesus, hmm, I was preached to. I had gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I also read that hunger rests in the bosom of, an, of, of, of a fool. After that, I knew that if I still carry on with this angry spirit, I will end up in hell. So, I surrendered my life to Jesus. I repented from, ang from anger. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. Thank you, Jesus. Repentance, as to your question, is turning away from sinful, ungodly attitude and bad lifestyle to a new one. Now, since you said you have repented, what did you repent of? What are the things that you were doing before that you did not do again? Because that is genuine repentance and salvation. Now, John the Baptist, at the beginning of his ministry, preached, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Now, Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world, also teaches, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Apostle Paul also says, repent and be converted so that the time of refreshing can come from the presence of God. We are not Christian by religion, but by repentance from sin and relationship with God. My brother, repentance is a big deal. It is a big deal. As bad as people think I am. <sighs> Pastor is always questioning and cancelling me. And Ten is always tormenting me with a fanatic gospel that is different from the gospel of grace preached to us. At least we are told that for by grace we are saved through faith and not of ourselves. It is the gift of God and not of works, lest any man should boast. Yes, it is by grace, but shall we continue in sin and expect grace to continue? No, no, no. God forbid. But Christ has died for us so that we will not suffer again. He came to give us the liberty of what he did not enjoy on earth. No, that is an error. Christ only suffered for our sin and he took our sins away on the cross so that we will no longer commit sin or remain slaves to sin. You was me cause you died for me, yeah, yeah. It should be good if you can think well and repent now. Why did you say so? Because you need it more to deliver yourself from deception. How do you mean? See, 
you are not serious about your salvation and heaven. You are deceiving yourself. I beg your pardon. Who are you, by the way? I'm your conscience. You destroyed me. You killed me. You shared me with hot iron. I did not make any meaning to you again. You don't allow me to break your heart. You have rendered me powerless. My conscience. <laughs> but conscience doesn't speak. Says who? I can talk. I do talk. But it's you that silenced me. How? You engage in sinful habits, condemning me by human judgment and God. And whenever I try to speak to you, you don't allow me to speak to tell you that what you are doing is wrong. Whenever I manage to do that, you don't listen. But you cut off my connection with you and ignore my corrections. It is not good when a man has no conscience. I only pity your soul that is crying every day. My soul crying every day. Your soul is crying every day, which your listening to all kinds of music cannot change. But you just have to repent. Why? Why? Why is he crying? Your soul is crying every day because of where you are leading him to. You are leading him to spend eternity in hell, of course. And that is why he's crying every day. Hey, stop that! I hate that confrontation. Please don't implicate me. This is no implication. This is what you have actually done to me. Why do you want to punish me? Why are you doing this to me? Hey, please just leave here now because I don't know what you're talking about. You are leading me to hell. You should think about the end, but you are not doing that because you understand nothing. Yes, I understand nothing and I don't want to understand your pranks. Pranks? Who is playing pranks with you? Who is joking with you? Do I look like a comedian? We are talking about eternity and here you are proving innocence of your actions. Because I don't understand what you are talking about. How dare you say you don't understand? Hey, how dare you say that? Hey, look man. This is no joke at all. I am your conscience, but you silenced me. Anyway, mine is minimal. But here is your soul preparing to suffer eternal punishment in hell. Because of your lifestyle that is not subjected to the will of God. Mm -hmm. You are the container. The body which consists of the spirit and the soul. And I, the conscience, harmonize the two of them. And also, let me tell you this. If you continue to live your life like this, in the end or at death, your spirit will leave you, including me, your conscience. But your soul will suffer in hell. That is why it's crying every day, because of your lifestyle to eternity. Both of you will suffer for it. Hi. What's wrong with you? You look unhappy. And Tom. Tenny, can I ask you a question, please? Yes, sure. You can ask. Do you have a conscience? Yes, of course. I have a conscience. Everyone has a conscience, including you. Why do you ask? Is conscience of God or the devil? God created the conscience. Conscience is the knowledge of our own thoughts and actions. That is consciousness. It is our inner voice that judges our actions and behavior. Mm. That means conscience can actually speak to us. Yes. I hope there's no problem. What if the conscience doesn't speak again? Ah, that is very bad. It means the person has silenced conscience and ignored it through bad behavior, sinful lifestyle, and adamant attitude through consciousness. Is there any example of such in the word of God? Mm, yes, yes. Uh, the Bible has answer to every life's question. In 1 Timothy 4 verse 1. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter time, some will depart from faith. 
giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrine of devils. Huh. Verse 2 says, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience sealed with a hot iron. Having their conscience sealed with hot iron. <laughs> Please, what does that mean? It means to damage the conscience. In fact, the New Living Translation explains it better. These people are hypocrites and liars, and their conscience is dead. Dead? Yes, dead. brother like I said the first thing is to repent you see there are many ways to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior you can believe in the Lord Jesus and be saved like the jailer in Acts 16 25 and you can confess him with your mouth as Lord and Savior as written in Romans 10 9 Die, put your life in order. Jesus will soon come. But either you believe or confess. The first thing is repentance from your bad attitude, sinful lifestyle, and your bad behavior. This will lead you to start a new foundation. That is why Paul and Silas taught the jailer the word of God. After he believed and repented and be handed over to the Holy Spirit for the conviction. Now, it is no longer the conscience, but the Holy Spirit who convinces of sin and the conscience to prick the hearts of a wrong attitude. Hmm. If any man is in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are new. I used to go, I go there no more. All the bad things I used to do, I do them no more. All the bad friends I used to keep, I keep them no more. There is a great change since I'm born again. Great change since I'm born again. Great change. 
Since I'm born again, great change. Since I'm born again, there is a great change. Since I'm born again, Lord, thank you for saving my life. Thank you for redeeming my soul, God. Lord, I thank you. Thank you for your patience, Lord. Thank you for waiting for me to be genuinely born again before the rapture. If I had missed it, who would I blame, Lord? God, I thank you. I'm really, really sorry for wasting my life in sin and ignorance. God, I'm deeply sorry for impregnating and aborting for Sister Mary. Lord, now I pray that you help me to heal and restore her. Help me to heal all the damages I've caused her, Lord. Lord, I'm really sorry for this. I know you have answered my prayer. Thank you, loving Father. Good afternoon, sir. Well, good afternoon. Sir. Ah, well done, sir. Brother, how sir. are you? Yeah. Sir, I really want to thank you for scolding oh, me. Oh, all glory this be This made me see myself in the mirror of the Word of God as mm. a sinner. And I've sincerely repented after thorough pondering and evaluation of my life. Mm. Uh, but sir, I still want to take permission for two more weeks before I join the priest team again. Good. Uh, yes, okay. sir. Yes, yes. I want to seek the face of God more and make necessary corrections, sir. Good. Very good. Thank you, sir. And the Lord will lift you afresh Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. It is well with Amen. you. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, maybe sorry, it's okay. That is life for you. Men. Men. A man will hook you today and dump you tomorrow. Men. Hmm. Sure. So she's life, oh my sister. But it's not fair. And then it's not fair. <sighs> See, life itself is not fair to us all. Hmm. But thank God. That you still have your life to yourself. <laughs> to myself, you say. Ah! You can't understand. <laughs> understand what? Eh? Understand what? Ah! <laughs> Tire use me and dump me. Hmm. After I've gone through a series of abortion for him. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Hey, sorry, oh. Ah, hey. But it's you I will blame. It's you I will blame. How can you give yourself out to a man cheaply like that? My dear, it is love. Tell her, it is love. Love my foot. <laughs> Which kind of yeah, love will make you give your body to a man that you are not married to? Huh? Oh my God, you disappoint me, yet you go to church. Don't they preach to you in church that fornication is bad? Ah. I won't believe it, that we are in the same praise team together. Jesus, the same praise team? I can't believe that. Ah. And you are committing fornication. How do you expect the power of God to come down through praise. How can the church enjoy the presence of God? Ha! Huh. May God have mercy. Ha! Huh. Both of you need repentance. But I noticed that the brother has a counter repentance. That was why he broke up the relationship. Mm hmm. Are you sure? How do you know? Hmm. I see it's very cool calm and collected now. He comes gently to Riazas, which is very unlike him. It was from his lax exhortation that made me conclude that he has repented. We all need to repent to serve God better. Is there anyone here who still engage in immorality? Please repent. Is there anyone here who is not living right with God? Please, you need to sincerely repent so as to serve God better. Because God wants to use us. But then, we're made to totally surrender our lives to Him. Eh, wonders shall never end. Hmm. Well, I pray it's so for Him, shall. <laughs> it is you I will have to talk to. 
You need to put your life together and start afresh. You two repent. Eh? Repent. Ah. It's okay now. It's okay. I ruined my life. Apart from our body for him, hmm. I've been treating series of infection that I contacted from him, oh. which I'm yet to recover from. Ah. Hey. Infections. <laughs> Wait, STD or HIV? Hmm. I don't even know. Oh. I can't explain how I'm feeling. Hey, Jesus. <laughs> oh. I, my sister, you have suffered, you. <laughs> Sorry. Huh. You see? That is why, right from my secondary school days, I've made a vow that I will never open my legs for a man that I'm not married to. That is it. See, our fellowship teacher back then used to tell us that in every immoral relationship, it is girls that suffer most. <laughs> She used to say that if a girl gets pregnant, mm. she will drop out of school mm. while the boy continues his education. Mm, of course. And if she eventually delivers that baby, mm. my dear, she will take care of that child alone. Not <laughs> while the boy continues his pursuit in life. Mm. Huh. And before you know it, you would have gone so far in life. Mm. Why the girl will remain far behind, mm. unfulfilled. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> See, she wants us always to zip up mm. so as not to suffer in the hands of men mm. from any ungodly relationship. Mm. Just like the one that happened to you now. Sorry. 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 It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the dream sir I don't understand let us pray about it father in Jesus name Amen. the Bible tells us that if anyone lack wisdom let him ask of the father who will give liberally father we ask oh Lord that you reveal unto us that which you want to tell your son father reveal to us in the name of Jesus Amen. thank you blessed God in Jesus name Amen. Father, sir, who is that brother to you uh, he's a guest in the house. He always preaches to me and teaches me the word of God. In fact, sir, he's the one that led me through repentance after he spoke to me. We used to pray together occasionally, sir. You know what the dream means? It means the brother has been given the duty to shape on your life to what God wants you to become. Hearing the word of God through him, I'm Paying attention to his biblical injunction will help you through your journey in life. That is why you see me approving him to go ahead. Actually, it's not me, but the picture of God. So God has given you a power that will bring out the Timothy in you. With knives and cutlasses? <laughs> oh yes! It's a spiritual knife. And what will he use that to cut in my life? God will use him to cut and trim behavioral excesses, fleshy manifestation and carnal disposition from your life. Behavioral excesses and fleshy manifestations mm. in my life? Yes, like anger, arrogance, pride, 
self-importance and carnal disposition. All that may wage war against your spiritual growth and maturity, it has to be trimmed and cut off in order for you to please God. Now, it is a process, some of which you may not like, but you have to endure it for you to become the man God will use. Many so-called believers, workers, and even ministers of God have skipped this process. That is why we have lots of unpaid and spiritual bastards in the church and in the ministries today. You see young boy telling people to call him Papa, gospel singers and actors behaving like worldly celebrities as a result of bypassing this process. Tell me has been pestering and disturbing my sleep at night. Why are you judging me? No, why do you condemn me? I don't even like you. Please stay away from me. You see, this is why I don't like your company. You always see the other side of things. Eh? You think in a very different manner and in a very negative way. I said I'm born again. Are you my God? Are you my Savior? I, I said I'm born again. Now, now leave. Just, just leave me oh, alone. I said leave. Facebook. Mm -hmm. He was saying if you have offended anyone, they should forgive him, blah blah blah. Ah. Guys of nowadays are so deceptive and unreliable. Ha! Ah. I'm not surprised. The last time they asked him to give short exhortation at Choir Riaza, if you see the way he was ranting, ha! Ah. I know something has gotten into his head. Instrumentalist, you are only serious when you are on your duty playing the instrument. Other things in the church do not concern you. You'll be busy taking selfies, moving here and there. My brothers, we need to repent so as to give an acceptable and reasonable service to God. And to you, my sisters, the time to sing praise and worship. It's not the time to show off. You are to sing praise and worship songs to lead the congregation to the presence of the Lord. It is not time to show off. You do not need to put on clothes that reveal your cleavages because you want to sing praise to the Lord Almighty. Please, let our heart be consecrated so we can give a reasonable and acceptable service to God. The Lord God Almighty who has blessed us with all this talent is expecting us to serve him faithfully with all sincerity. I pray that as we continue, as we attempt to give God a holy service, the Lord Almighty will bless us. God bless you all. Hey, hey. He said all this? Hey, if you have seen him that day, I know this is not the tire I know. He spoke like a widow. Since then, I know he's up to something. Hey, I only pity Mary, oh, that lost her body and health to him. Ha! Huh. Body and health, what do you mean? Hmm. She has aborted for good five times for him. Yay! Ha! Why are you shouting? You've not heard anything. Is it only that? She has contacted STD, that she's still treating up till now. Ha! Huh. Some ladies are so foolish with guys at times. How can she stoop so low? With a guy she is not yet married to. Oh, Abio, my friend. God knows I cannot even abort for a man once. 
not to talk of twice or even five times. Me, I cannot even open my legs to any guy, not to talk of aborting pregnancy. <laughs> Do they even talk about marriage? If not because Mary is a flat and she's daft. Hey, so they didn't plan to marry? My sister, it just started like a friendship. Oh, this is me, I visit you. And that's how it all started. I agree with you, my sister. She's truly daft and a flat. By the way, all this happening among your choir. Hmm. I must tell you, my friend, that's your church. You all need repentance, so. What is that supposed to mean? Are you insulting me? Oh, 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 oh. You don't have the right to insult me. If I offended you, okay, I'm sorry. But all I know is that that's your choir in your church. They need to be rebranded, though. Eh, anyway, my sister, you see our new pastor now. <laughs> he is a no nonsense man. <laughs> he is classical, <laughs> spiritual, <laughs> and hotter than fire. Hey, hey, that's very good. It's no nonsense. That's very good for that your choir. Honestly, I used to think of godly ladies from outside that are usually responsible for the fall of some brothers in the church. But now I've been proved wrong. Seeing our sisters, like Sister Mary. Ah! Sister Mary, the most pious of them all, swimming in fornication with a brother from the choir. Even to the extent of aborting five times. My sister, what were you thinking about when committing the abortion? Why couldn't you speak out then for the church to intervene? Eh? Of course, because there is no fear of God in you and no regard for your pride as a woman. Hmm, I don't know what to do now. Because the brother you came to report has already repented. It is his own genuine repentance that brought about your own confession now. Honestly, I don't know what to do. Anyway, as far as I'm concerned, I'm sorry for you. But don't you think we need the wisdom of God to meddle in now? However, you too need to genuinely repent and forgive the brother so that you will not harbor bitterness against him. I just pray God will heal you of all infections and wounds in Jesus' name. Amen. Go and meet the church doctor for thorough examination and attention first. Once again, so sorry about your deal. Thank you, sir. Hmm. God, I want to I empty myself. Lord, free me up. I rest in the mall with you. Thy will be done. I empty myself. I pass on fire for you. Fill me up. I rest in the mall with you. Thy will be done.
of this still small voice. I mean, this God can come in whatever way or manner you can ever imagine. But why, sir? Because he's the all in all. He's the same God, the almighty God, the awesome God, the powerful God that opened the Red Sea for his children to pass through. Remember the Israelites? This same God is the only God that can stop the moon and the sun because a servant of his is fighting the battle and change the calendar of the whole world. This God I'm talking about is the only God who can make the world to crumble. Remember the wall of Jericho. Do you know this same God is the only one that walk into the fairy furnace and turn it into air conditioner. Remember the three Hebrews? He did it for them. 
So this God is a powerful God. He's a powerful God. And that's why I want to know him more. Are you sure you want to know him more? Yes, sir. So, tell me, what aspect of this God do you know before? Yes, I know he's the creator of the world. He's the savior of the world. He's the king of kings. Uh, the king of the universe. He's an everlasting father. I know him to be the Alpha and the Omega. And he's the giver of life. Yes, the giver of lives. He is the giver of life and is the one that gave gifts to men. But many, instead of using this gift to do meaningful things to God, they use it against Him. How so? Deception. They are misled. They lack knowledge. They did not know that God created all things for his pleasure alone. Which means anything anyone does must glorify God. Whatever anyone does that does not bring or give glory to God is a waste and useless. God gave myriads of gifts, talents, idea, brain, innovation to people to do meaningful things to change the world and to give glory unto him. But they use it to mislead people and hand them over to the devil, the enemy of their soul. What a shame. We have them in the music, theater and film, political and kingship matters. We have them in the information technology. You see their gift and idea to drive people away from God, who is the creator and the giver of big gifts. All this because of an omission. What is that omission, sir? <laughs> sir, what do you mean by an omission? Sir, I need, you to, I need you to explain what you mean by that omission, sir. Consecration. Whatever any man uses his or her gift, to do without consecration and devotion to God alone is a waste. They will only realize this when they appear before God to give account of how they use their gift, talent, invention, brains, and innovations. Account? Yes. Romans chapter 14, verse 12. So then, all of us will give account of ourselves unto God. There comes regret and eternal punishment for those who did not use their gift, their talents, their brain, idea, inventions, and innovations to glorify God. But for you, with gift of singing, go and consecrate yourself so that you'll be qualified to sing for him the only one who the 24 elders in heaven bow down for every day and night and worship him the only one that the angels are singing unto day and night praising his majesty or don't you want to be among the anointed choir in heaven at the edge so i want to be then Go and consecrate your voice so that you'll be qualified to sing among them. Do you still want to know more about this God we are talking about? Yes, sir. I desire nothing but to know him more, sir. This God that used the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. Mm. Can you imagine? Because of this instructed singing, I'm encouraging you to consecrate your voice for 
very powerful and armed nation for themselves to finish before a smaller nation. In the book of 2 Chronicles 20, 22, that is the power of consecrated singing from consecrated mouths. So, you to go and consecrate your voice so as to be able to sing with a consecrated mouth to please him all the time. I hope you are getting to grasp something about this God. Yes, sir. This God is fearful in praises. You know that about him, isn't it? Yes, sir. God appears powerfully in praises, sir. So, go and consecrate your voice so that you can sing, appear powerfully in praises whenever and everywhere you sing. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Hey, but sir, I hope I will always have you around to help me, sir. Psalm 46 verse 1. God is our refuge and fortress, a very present help in time of trouble. Do you still want to know more about this God? Yes, sir. I want to know more. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Okay. Look up there. What do you see? How are you? I'm fine, sir. I missed your call. Hey, hey, sir, I wanted to know if you were in the office, sir. Oh, oh, no. I just left the office and I won't be back until Sunday. Okay. Uh, hope no problem. Hey, hey, sir, I had a revelation and I wanted you to enlighten me on it, sir. Yes, go ahead. On phone? Oh, of course, proceed. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Hey, sir, I just finished praying and um, I was led to read to read uh, Psalm 4 verse 3 and Ezekiel 43 26. And then uh, there's this voice speaking to me, just kept repeating consecration, consecration. So I wanted to know what does it mean, sir? Thank you, Jesus. I believe it is God using those Bible verses to teach you about the meaning of consecration. Exactly, sir. Yes, I wanted to know what that means, sir. 
Consecration means setting ourselves apart for God's use alone. I believe it is God giving your voice a recognition and relevance. You must value it and respect it. Don't miss this opportunity. God bless you, my brother. Thank you very much, sir. It is well with you. Thank you, sir. I have said, I have said, I have said, no one like you. No one like you. I don't find, I don't find, I don't find no other God. Oh, Brotten, and while I was calling, you were busy winning so. And when you called back, I too was busy receiving from the Lord. <laughs> that is nice. Ah, <laughs> brother, it's so good hearing from the Lord. Mm, that's nice. Uh, that is the best thing that can happen to a child of God. Yes. <laughs> However, mm. you must keep it up and maintain constant hearing from God. Mm, maintain the flow mm. and relationship with Him to keep hearing from Him. More and more. <laughs> thank you, my brother. I really appreciate it. I thank you for not giving up on me. I appreciate your coming into my life. You led me to Christ. God bless you. Amen. Amen. We thank God for everything. We thank God you are back. Thank you for everything. You are the potter I'm declaring. More the best that's of me, Lord.